Hi, so you've just read this web page, Connecting Messages. Let's do a quick summary and review of what are the key takeaway messages here. So in this particular tutorial, right, we're showing here how you can create a module, another module, we've seen that before, but now modules have input output messages and there's this subscribe to method that allows you to connect the blue output message into these orange input messages as I've denoted them here. So what are some key things you need to consider? The to connect messages, you do need to, of course, include the messaging system. So this line right here, that's important. Um, you know, we're already including the right imports to get these different modules. That's cool. That's the same as before. But the messaging system is required. Without that, you can't do any subscribe to if you forget that line. Then looking at the code, we go down and we do the subscription. So key takeaway messages here are you can't subscribe to a message if it doesn't already exist. So this is why it's important that I create this module one first, then I make a module two, and then I can have module two's input message here, subscribe to module one's output message right here. If I had this line at the top of the script, this wouldn't work. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to do all the subscriptions at the bottom of the script. Sometimes it's handy to create one module, then create another, connect that second module to the first, and then you just kind of work your way down, or you might want to do it all at once at this end. So messages must exist before you can subscribe to them. That wasn't the case in the old messaging system in Basilisk 1, because there we had a bulletin board. You just assumed there would be a message called Fred, and then at runtime, that message must have been created not anymore with the new one. So it actually is easier. Um, let's see, all the messages must be explicit. That means before some modules, spacecraft would, sp would have an output message with a default name and simple nav would have an input message with a default name. So if you just create those two objects, they automatically connected. That's no longer the case. There's no more implicit connections, which saves you a lot of confusions at time, but it means you need a few lines of code to connect things that before were automatically connected. So no more implicit connections. Everything is explicit. What else is going on? The connection types are actually really elegant. You notice we only have a subscribe to command and that's nice, but module two and module one are actually of different type. One's a C module, one's a C++ module. So under the hood, we actually handle the different ways that these things have to connect. For in Python, you don't have to worry about it. If this is a C module or C++, you just use subscribe to, which is what's handled here. And this is where we can go. Okay, they must already exist. So if we ran this script, I just wanted to show you something. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this out. If I'm gonna run this script now, uh, you're gonna get the output that I'm sh showing you below. And um, uh, let me get this to the front. There we go. Okay, so that means you can see here the output, the module runs, no errors, everything's fine. Now let's see what, let's see if we change this up slightly. I'm going to bring up a PyCharm that has this script already loaded, and I'm going to load up a different one. What I want to illustrate is what happens if you get the message types wrong. What kind of error would you see? So we're going to say from Basilisk simulation, I'm going to import spacecraft plus. Okay, so I can make a spacecraft object. Doesn't matter where. I'm just going to create an object so I can try to connect to it. Uh, spacecraft plus, this is creating a C++ object. I'm not even gonna bother with a tag. But now down here, instead of connecting to that output type, right? These, these dummy C and C++ modules use the same message type for inputs and outputs, which allows me to cross connect them any way I wish. But let's say for some reason you decide I wanna connect this module to the spacecraft state out message there. They will be different types. So what happens in the code? Let's take a look. Oh, we don't need all of these. Let me clean this up. Okay, sorry, a lot of windows here. But now if we try to run it, what's gonna happen is you get an error message right there in Python. It'll tell you, hey, there's an exemption raised. And in particular, you know, we were trying to subscribe flight software. That was the input message type to another message type. And this error, comes from this one line here because we have the wrong types. So this is really nice, explicit type checking. If you fat finger something and get the wrong connections going, it'll tell you right away and you can know, ah, oh, wait, I don't have something configured correctly. So anyway, that's a quick review and uh, have fun with making connections.